Art is dead on Instagram. And you might be wondering, what do you mean? Well, here, let me explain. Just kidding, I'm not cutting into a crazy intro because that's just too much editing. So, I've been watching a guy by the name of Jack Gordon recently on YouTube and his videos have been really interesting. He's been talking about the Instagram and TikTok algorithm and also he's been talking about how Instagram is just a clone of other apps like Snapchat, Facebook, and TikTok with the reels. It's, it's just never ending and it's quite frustrating because Instagram is a photo app, not a video app. Like, no. Like, who watches IGTV? Anyways, besides that, it's frustrating because why not take your photo app that you have to the next level? I just wanted to put it into the perspective of your average artist trying to make a living, not off of Instagram, but use Instagram to gain a following, to then make a living, to support their dream of becoming an artist. but. Instagram just makes it so difficult nowadays. All right, let's jump into my first point, which is people only check Instagram for their friends, not a random like you. Okay, the average Instagram user only spends 30 minutes on the app, and out of those 30 minutes, they only check their homepage, which is people they already follow, and they're not going to go out of the way to go to the explore page and find new people because people are only interested in, in liking the posts of people they know in real life. So that's one big issue. People aren't searching for art. If it comes to them on the Explore page, they'll click on it. But besides that, they're not going out of their way unless they want like to commission a piece somewhere. But even then, they're gonna look for the best of the best to commission someone. But now you're faced with a new challenge. You have to compromise with the algorithm. And what the algorithm wants is daily posts or consistent posts, which is difficult because you're an artist. You can't continue to pump out high quality every day. Two, they want you to stick with the same like style and similar art because when people want to consider following you, they go to your page and see, oh, yeah, I, I'm going to get a similar post like this. Let me follow. So basically, you have to post similar things. You can't just post anything that you want. Which leads to my next point, quantity over quality. Instagram favors quantity over quality 100%. If you look at company run pages like Barstool, Hood Clips, all of those pages can consistently post like daily. They do really good numbers just because they post consistently. And a lot of their posts are not good at all. And on the other hand, for art, you can't just put out crap work out there. You, you have to put out work that's at least pleasing to the eye. So you have to find like a balance of, oh, this looks good enough and I can make this fast enough, so here. Uh, that's why a lot of artists on Instagram, they post a certain style that they know that they could do in a short amount of time, like two hours. And they don't focus on putting out portfolio work on their page because they'll just be posting like every five days and Instagram does not like that at all. The next problem, unpaid work. All the stuff I mentioned before literally takes so much time. And I'm not saying, oh, you shouldn't do hard work or you shouldn't put in the work and expect to be paid every single time. But this is something you do for probably three plus years. You have the constant stress of posting very consistently for three plus years just to see any signs of growth in your page and Instagram doesn't pay you a single dime. Only way is if companies reach out to you to do a sponsorship or a deal or something like that. 
at least TikTok pays its creators. Like, there's a creator fund. Instagram, there's nothing like that. They just, oh, thanks for your hard work. Why am I giving TikTok all this glory even though I utterly despise TikTok? Well, it's because it's better than nothing. Which brings me to my next point is that we're moving into a video era instead of a photo era. And what I mean by that is people are wanting to watch videos more than just click on a photo and like. People are more engaged in videos. That's just bad news for the artists because that means we have to transfer over stuff like making TikTok and Reels, something we don't want to do. We have to learn how to video edit. After we come up with our piece, we have to figure out, oh, how can I make this into a video? We have to manage our time between making videos and making artwork on top of our crazy schedule. So yeah, it's just not viable at all. Artists are being forced to migrate to a new medium just to stay relevant. And there are some benefits though because I do think editing is a good skill to know, but to be forced to know it, it's just sad. My last point is not a lot of people blow up on Instagram. They actually blow up on another app like YouTube or TikTok and then they come to Instagram just to post for like brands and stuff. Like that's literally it. So after all that presented, I came to the conclusion that TikTok is the only way. Yes, that's right. I'm going to the dark side. I'm joining TikTok. <laughs> but in all seriousness, stay tuned for the next video where I go viral on TikTok. In one week as an artist, yes, I'm going to test if this is really possible and to see if an artist has any chance in this day and age. <sighs> Let's see. you uh that if i wasn't in a medicated state i might have had the the thoughts to hold on this train going by now if i wasn't in a medicated state